Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this NFC matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. You know, when you get a matchup at running back, like the one we have here today, you can just look down on the field from the booth, and you can see that breakaway speed and power with your own eyes, and there is a difference out there. Yeah, I think you know, I, I was always, always heard from Bill Walsh. I read it in his book, Trust Your Eyes. So you're right. We look down the field today, and as this thing goes along, you can tell we have two stars of running back, and, man, just give them a little bit of hope, and they can make it happen. from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. McCoy's lined up in a single back formation. Handoff, slashing to the right side. That's a gain of eight. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Would they ever? They would love this. This is this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. Cooper's in the slot. Second down, two to go. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. Well, I know it was a short run that time by the by the offense, but it's. What it's going to do for you long term, keep running that football, try to wear the defense down. Lined up in the pistol formation. Third and one. Throws to the right. Of course, it's a three and out. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run around like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Setting up in the pistol on this play. They have their first first down of the game. I just don't think that's a good job by the defense. It's fourth and short. You kind of know what the offense is going to do. They were not ready, and they give up the first down. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Now first and ten. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. And here he goes. They've marched right onto the field with this opening drive, and they're moving the chains with regularity. They sure are, and I think it's time for the defense to quit sitting in there in that bland defense they're running, take a chance and try to stop this drive. First and ten. He gets it again on this drive. Reed is there and makes the play. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can you get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get into secondary and make a big play. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. The Eagles will approach this play from out of the pistol. Third down and five. Right where it had to be. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Six. 
They've got a first down now after that catch. As they go ground here, good job by the defense. They stopped the offense at time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. McCoy is out in the slot. Second down and 13. Eyeing that left side. In the promised land. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring that touchdown and putting it in my head. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. They're setting up return. down on the way. Running back gets it on the handoff. He'll go to the left. He's into the open. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. First and ten. Frank Gore gets it here. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second and twelve. The quarterback will hand it off. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. What a nice run by the running back. Picks up big yards, and he did everything that time. He picked the proper hole, gets through it, and shows that speed to get the long game. First and ten. Another handoff for about five. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Now looking at third down. Four. Middle, a tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up fourth down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dimes. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun, trying to work that unstoppable. Going to take it home for the touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Good things happen on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. They come to the line, and it's first down. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Second and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time... 
The play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. lined up directly behind the quarterback here. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Reed makes the tackle. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out? First and ten. Jackson's got the carry once more. Number ten. The Eagles lined up in the pistol. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. They hand it off to him again. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Third and eight going across the middle. Good yardage picked up on that call. Well, when you get a couple first downs, it just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this, when you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. The wide receiver in motion. First and 10. Here's the running play. Off tackle. They've got him behind a line of scrimmage. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Second and 11. And he's intercepted. That'll stop the play right there. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Look, Michael James gets the carry. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. LaMichael James is in the backfield. Second and ten. LaMichael James running to the left side. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Now third and ten, following the run. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. The throw to the left. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. Offense lines up here. They need to get the playoff. Kaepernick from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. The 49ers turn the ball over on downs. This is what they call managing the game. The head coach decides to go for it on fourth down, and you just got to expect either way that you're going to make it or if you don't make it what are you going to do it's first down as they head to the line left side i think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this when you just line up and run the football like that you're not going to get a lot of yards and that time they just got a short game second and goal from the five well, there's a phrase we have for quarterbacks that get a little nervous in the pocket. We call it cabin fever. I think that's what happened that time. He got a little nervous, and the throw was way off the mark. Hey, 
Third and goal from the five. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Eagles in the end zone. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window, very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it, fired it, got the touchdown. Lining up now for the two. He's looking for interception. Going to get the touchdown. But the goal for two and failed to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit. And mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. And he begins his return. The tackle is made. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. They hand it off to the running back. Has the first down and a whole lot more. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. Lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. And D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. He'll run it. Here's the handoff. Gains 13. Good job by the running back in that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. Scores the touchdown. Well, when the offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The extra point, the kick is good. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Getting close to the two-minute warning. Time for one more play. He sends the halfback in motion. First and ten. That ball was picked off. That brings the play to an end. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. Target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Two tight ends, first and ten. And the give to Frank Gore. Pat Chung makes the tackle. And now we reach the two minute warning here in the second quarter. Coming up, second down. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. Good piece of tackling. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown?
able to move the chains after that last run. First down here after the run. Tight end in motion. Frank Gore gets it here. And that's good for only a yard or two. That second down coming up. Back to the ground. Touchdown! Will get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Gore, middle, foot and additional. Two points on the board as they convert. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Touchback. <laughs> Avant's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Fix looking long, makes the play. Well, you saw why defensive backs can't sleep the night before the game when they play against this quarterback beautifully. Long throw down the field for the big completion. Jackson's lined up in the slot. First and 10. Fix looking long. Tough catch. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Try over again on second down. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shock. The football was incomplete. From the four. Caught. Touchdown and drawing close. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. He'll throw it over the middle. So put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. Spins out of the defender's clutches. James, the receiver, sent out wide to the left. First down and 10. 
launching it deep. And here's the pass incomplete. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and ten. He's looking long. Almost intercepted that time. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Third down now. Airing it out. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. That does it for the first half. Eagles trail in this one. We're back here now in this one where the 49ers are leading by two. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Frank Gore is in the backfield. First and ten. Screen. He has the grab. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Quarters formation here for the defense. And he'll go to the left. Outside runs take time. And when you run outside, you expect the safety to get up there with that extra time and make the tackle. Good job that time by the safety. Third and three. Up the middle. He's brought down. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. You got to take some chances. Go on the offensive on the defensive side and just make things happen. Brings it in. He's got a little bit of daylight here. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. First down following the long play. Gores handed the football. Goes to the left. No game on the play. Leads us to second down. It's handed to the running back. Touchdown, San Francisco. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done. And this team definitely has one. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. First down, he'll fire it out to the left. The Eagles now move the chain. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. McCoy's in the backfield, single back set. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. With this play, they'll go with two tight ends. That catch gives them a first down. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw. Yeah. Jackson's a receiver in the slot. 
and he spins away. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long runs. McCoy. Offense lines up here. And an eight. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Play doesn't even have time to develop. The quarterback is under so much pressure, he's throwing it before these receivers are even ready. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third down and eight. Tipped away. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down because I don't think he could have caught it. So if he can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Looking for an open receiver on the right. They'll turn it over on downs. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs. It's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. Let's round. Let's round. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Now first and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. The 49ers come out in the pistol on second and nine, setting up a little screen. A tackle behind the line. Well, we see it more and more. Football's thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. In trouble now. Throws to the right, and he's intercepted. Fights through that hit. Nice tackle. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? There's the marker. It comes out. That snap was not in time. It'll be a delay of game call. Offense. Still first down. Nickel formation for the defense here. Staying with the passing game on first down. Escaping the pressure, got a big lane. Gain of 17. Quarterback giving himself up. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? On first down. McCoy's taking the handoff. 
touchdown. That'll close the gap. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Could have taken the one-point gimme. They went for the two, and they are turned away. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. and 10 and James is going to take the handoff now when you're going against a really athletic defense there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it they go and you counter it and that's why it works to perfection second down and four escaping the pressure Got a little crease, nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. First down coming up. And the give to Frank Gore. He's got some daylight. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second and six. A takeaway. They pounce on him there. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice kick. Jackson's in the slot. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Flying into the air and makes the catch. Another name for the fly route, the go route, it's a streak. And that means they want you to be a blue streak, run as fast as you can, get by that defense, and make a big play. 15 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. To the long game let's see what they do here the final quarter begins with this snap and they tackle him down at the 37 yard line boy they got a good drive going here jim i guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course do you the way you hit it everywhere but this offense they're clicking they're making plays let's see if they can take advantage of of just moving this football down the field they tackle him for a loss now the play is there to be made but the offensive player doesn't get it done bad job on first down Second and 13. Knocked to the deck by Willis. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed, and when it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. The defense comes out in the nickel. for a receiver on the left side here. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations.
Offense lines up here. Vic standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Well, I'll just say this, Jim, when you're a gambling football team, you're willing to go for it on fourth down, even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it. You just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense. The defense comes out of the dime. First and 10, Frank Gore gets it here. That's a tackle at the 48. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. It's a second and nine to the ground here. Got the first and he's got some space. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. This play set up by the long gainer. Michael James gets the carry. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Second down coming up. Right back to him. There's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown. This offense, even though they had the lead, they do not sit on it. They are aggressive, they take risks, and what a game. They're gonna bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. Got the touchdown, got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. He's got a chance to return this one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Defense comes out of the nickel. First and ten. Reaches in, and that pass is incomplete. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback reading his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Picks up the first and still has some room to run. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. The running back goes in motion. Second and ten. Looks to his left. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. And he dropped back. And complete. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Terrible job by the quarterback. It's third down, you throw it short of the markers, well, you get a completion, that's great. Uh, you're really accurate, but there were guys open down the field. Take a chance and go for it. Ooh, they failed to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. The offensive coordinator's just gotta make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback. 
So either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. Davis is a receiver all the way out to the right. Gore breaks free, has some space to work with. An off-tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Second and three. Gets away from the pressure. Breaks free. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Play action fake. Looking to throw to Vernon Davis. And sailing out of bounds. Eagles set at the line. Dime package. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First down here after the completion. Looking across the middle on the spot. 49ers in for the score. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. He'll have a chance to take off. Ball comes out. What a disastrous play by the return team. Awful execution in every single phase. Then they fumble it. The one thing that happened that is very good, at least they recovered their own fumble. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. Here's the handoff. Running off tackle. Reed is there and makes the play. The off tackle run. It's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Michael Vick will be under center. Second and six. How did he drop that? Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. McCoy is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Third down and six. Running a little college-like option. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. The defense gets a sack. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. And he's going to pitch it here. And that's a gain of maybe five. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. You talk about a blitz on the defensive side, it's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time and they get the sack on the QB. The 49ers lined up in the nickel. Fix back in shotgun formation. Fix looking long. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. Yeah, the crowd is always yelling. Their team is losing. Go for it. It's fourth down. Well, they went for it. Now what do you say? They didn't get it. Bad call by the offense. They shouldn't have done it. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. 
first and ten. Screen play is on. And that last play made by Pat Chung. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. Has the reception all alone. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. First and goal. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Wide receivers are bunched up. Second and goal from the eight. Six in the books. That touchdown might just wrap it up. Yeah, it sure will, Jim. It's been an exciting game all day, and it, uh, to score late in the game like this to put it away, it's time to celebrate a little on the sideline. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. Throwing now to his left. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. He steps out. Setting up in the pistol on this play. They motion the receiver around to the other side. The Eagles get a first down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Get past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First and 10. Working that left side right where it had to be. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside, show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. This will be the final snap. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That's an interception. Bringing the play to an end. That's it. This game is over. Bill, before we go, how about a little chat about how much this win means? Well, you know, Jim, let's look at it this way. It was just a nice win. It, it keeps your confidence up, and it just gives you a little energy.